guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 10 of Skip to Love First. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Did my dog just slip my door? Okay. <laughs> also, let me say this. You're probably wondering why this didn't come out. Because I was going to do this when I got home. But I ate food and I took a nap. And then had to well i've been cleaning since like what seven eight o'clock on and off um so now i'm just trying to get this done and then after this i gotta give my dog a bath because he has to go to the vet today and i want him to be nice and clean and presentable um but yeah next week i should be able to have it come out on tuesday instead of my initial Sometimes coming out on Tuesdays, relatively more or less coming out on Wednesdays, but because it's only one show, but kind of at the same time, I still have like other things to do. But when I come home, I'm tired, and I think when anybody comes home from work, you're always tired, so. Right. Family singers? It, it kind of looks like the sound of music in a way, especially with the hills. Oh, and definitely because it's a musical too, definitely sound of music vibes. Hello. Then it's settled. That looks so good. Yeah. <laughs> Poor baby. Could have.
Can we also talk about the fact that he ate that Sunday so fucking quickly? <laughs> Even though, I mean, yeah, it probably went, like, very time-consuming, but still, like, one minute it was full, next minute, died. <laughs> oh, my God. Get that? I get that, too. Yeah, but something tells me she she's gonna slither her way up into it. Come on now. She's gonna find out. The precious baby boy. Goodbye. And he thought he was going to be bad. Yeah. Just be like, hey, take care of my girl. But baby, you're making it your concern. You're making it your business. So you just might as well follow through with everything. It's me.
Oh my god, honey. Between your bags under your eyes and do from Kuma Bear. Oh my god, get some sleep. Go home and take a nap. Oh no. Oh. Oh. I get that. It's the same with me. I like being a busy bee, even though sometimes I get burned out sometimes. And I get really tired. And I'm like, no, but I love doing what I do. But I get so tired sometimes. Hence why the one series that I am currently rewatching and such, like, I have not done a video for that in a hot minute. Oh. I'm about to cry. <sighs> yeah. Remember to pace yourself, get some well rest. Deja, <laughs> we talking to you too. <laughs> I'm probably not even going to go back to sleep until about like 5 o'clock. Because <laughs> depending on how tired I am, I'm like, what? <laughs> Guys, it's okay. You're busy. That's how you are like. Did you want to make someone so happy? Or probably everyone happy?
<laughs> in his own special way, babe. Oh, my birthday month. Yay! He did, but because you were running around so much, babe, you probably just didn't notice. Yeah, of course. That, too. Because he wants to know if you're okay. Are you about to cry? Ah! Me? Yeah, he really didn't. Honey. <laughs> yeah. You felt like you made everything worse because you didn't do anything. Because in a way, you have to have thick skin. Yeah, you you a calm baby. You you a small town baby, but still, you're thriving. Even with all the challenges she has, she's still thriving. Do it. Can we talk about the fact that he kind of blushed in that moment?
Mm-hmm. Dang, 30 days to study that? Mm. Aww. No, stop. <laughs> Q episode. I mean, you know, once again, this is the pre pre show for, you know, school festival as times. But this was sweet. Like, ah, oh, that was good. Like, ah, oh, it got me in the feels. Like, yes, I love it. Once again, the, the moments that these two have with each other when one is feeling down in the dumps because of someone, something, anything, the other one comes in and just makes their day feel so much better. Oh my god, like seriously, like I just love the fact that he just came in and like they had just a talk and then he, he quietly sang for her and then just said, hey, join in the fun. It's so cute. If my future husband don't do that, I don't want him. It's too freaking cute, but good. I'm the one to cry. And then he, see, oh my god, no. Seeing him blush. Seeing him blush. Like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh my god. I live for that. It's the best thing. The chill. I just got that's a completely different aura. Oh my god. That once again, all I'm gonna say is like you know, you know the last episode before uh the freaking break of Ocean and Okoy, um with Best Girl and honing and studying her craft on I like I, I got those vibes all over again. As someone who loves acting as well, as well so much, but because I live in the state that I live in and our theater s thing for plays are not really the greatest, and so it's super hard to try to do anything. Yeah. Um, just chills like once he walked onto that, like that is him 100 over really a thousand percent committing to this character and bringing in still a little more pizzazz because it feels like and i can't speak for everybody else but i know when i watch a movie um of course we all learn lessons in movies and tv shows and everything that we read watch whatever um but also for the people who portray these characters they always take a little bit of that character with them wherever they go next. And I think us as watchers, we do the same thing with that and such. As someone who, it is now Wednesday, watched Across the Spider-Verse on freaking Monday and is still affected by that movie and, and the fact that I have to wait until March to see how that series is going to end, I, I'm just, once again, I'm still an awestruck how amazing and beautifully done that movie is. That is a gorgeous piece of work of art. And this is too. And when you really have people who are truly dedicated in what they want to do, you make beautiful things. And I think this play is going to really prove something. Not only for Shima, but really for everyone else. But damn, like, this is good. We can really do something else even uh, grander or better in the next year. Now, I am hoping that Watch Your Face does not find out 
about this situation that Shima is doing, but something tells me that a little canary possibly is saying his voice out and telling her that, yes, oh my god, Shima's in a play, and she's gonna run her behind all the way to the school just to see him. And so I feel like we're going to get a lot of conflict and drama next week. But I feel like more or less, maybe we might not. We might, you know, get it in the following episode after next week. Because I feel like this whole episode going into 11 will strictly just focus on the school festival, the play, and everything else. Maybe a little bit of cute little moments between our two lovers and such. But really, who knows? I just, I, I need episode 11, like, now. Right now. At, like, 3.51 in the morning. Mm -hmm. You can do it. Go ahead and release it early. There's nothing wrong with releasing it early. Just give it to me. Right now. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode 10 of Skip to Lover. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single night. Enjoy the Metro Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode 11. Bye, guys.